Is Chris in here? Yeah. Yes, Chris. Hello, Chris. Yes. Okay. Yeah, oh, his sexy crap. voice is here. All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Everybody, it's just you two. How are you guys doing? doing oh, well. you know, just planning my uh, imminent demise and uh, waiting till we all kill each other on November 3rd. Uh, everyone would go vote. <laughs> yes, please. Let your voice be heard. Well, if you can vote, I think one people i'm not sure but 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 yeah uh make your voice be heard that's all i have to say about that and yeah. see some wise advice from a man um <laughs> i was gonna say something but i think i'll just leave it at that um so marley tell us about your podcast man you've been on here before but tell us again tell us again uh yeah, uh, I just have a I just have a podcast. It's uh, called the Water Cooler Podcast, a discussion podcast where I just get on random people and we just kind of discuss whatever we want to talk about. Lately, we uh, currently we're doing a series right now on the Christopher Nolan. Uh, we're doing a retros- retrospect of Christopher Nolan's movies, and uh, we just recently talked about Memento. And uh, next episode will be following, and we're going to be. Re- discussing like uh, all of his movies up until the digital release of Tenet because we don't want to see that movie in theaters because of COVID-19 but yeah uh, okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah uh, yeah just go listen to the water cooler podcast it's a uh, it's a really good podcast so it is a good podcast I can vouch for that Chris, like tell one. us about yours. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I host a small podcast called Curing Curiosity, where I just discuss anything that really pops into my head, random topics of interest, sometimes with a guest. And that's basically it. <laughs> it sounds like you're in a closet. <laughs> Not in the closet. I'm on in my desk at the back of my bedroom. <laughs> very close to the microphone. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, yeah, Curing Curiosity is a good podcast. I've listened to that one as well. Um, it's and a good yeah. name, too. But yeah, it is. Really good. Yeah, yeah I, I, was, I thought of that name at like 2 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, um, uh, what's, what's, the, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, Bold. No, oh. that's not <laughs> the word. <laughs> but, uh, I, I don't know. I can't think. Of it. The, the, it will come to me, but it's very, it's very poetic. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I mean, yeah, it could have been uh, something like the water cooler podcast, you know? <laughs> Considering I got the name. What? Of the <laughs> Considering, that the name of part- <laughs> Considering that I got the name of my podcast, from a song lyric. Uh, yeah, it is kind of poetic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry, what? But no, it's fine. Um, all right, so we're gonna be doing some slide ride. Everybody knows what this is already, but if you don't, for some strange reason, uh, basically, I give them a Google Slides presentation. They have to present it, and it's a bunch of random pictures, and it's not easy, but it's funny, and that's why I do it. Um, Marley's gonna go first. Are you so oh, excited boy. for this? I, I think I'm more excited but- to be honest. <laughs> All right, let me share my screen. <laughs> All right. Whenever you're ready, Marley. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to get over a breakup. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are probably dealing with this, during, especially during COVID-19, where you can't see your significant other and long-distance relationships just don't work. You may They, they may tell you that they work on uh, online dating websites, but uh, they really don't work. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next slide. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> the most, uh, most important way to get over a breakup is just eat tons of bananas. Just consume as many bananas as you can and just wear a banana suit and just be just bananas have potassium that that potassium is a is the leading agent in in getting over a breakup. It um uh, um it's it's very it's very healthy for you and just yeah uh this guy obviously has looked like he's just been through a breakup too he probably just probably his girl probably or 
his girl or boyfriend probably just broke up with him like in the car and he went she was like go get the bananas and he was just like he was just like okay fine let me just open the banana and then and yeah but yeah. next slide <laughs> um this uh bros before hoes definitely that's like <laughs> <laughs> this is this is definitely a good way to get over a breakup because uh, definitely like in this picture he is using like his uh, what would you call that is that like a like I, think it's called I a don't gauge. even yeah okay a gauge uh, he's definitely trying to remind himself of like pleasuring a woman uh, <laughs> with the gauge your gauge mm-hmm. and uh, and yeah uh, that's a really trustworthy friend and. Uh, that's also another good thing. It's just always have like good friends around you to help you through this t- difficult time in your life. Never forget. Just an average night with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Gosh, I this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, another uh, way is just always crank up the heat. Uh, no matter, uh, <laughs> crank up the heat in any situation. I guess uh, this guy's head is probably just on fire right now. Just like everything on his, on his insides are just on fire just because he hasn't made love in in so many years. And look at, just look at the, look, look at his face. His face just looks like, just like he's just checked out in every situation and just, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, next slide. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very reassuring. <laughs> uh, <what? laughs> how how my personal worst breakup went I, I definitely had a lot uh, definitely lots of crying and eating onions I think I don't really think eating the onions contributed to <laughs> that breakup just because uh, the onions don't necessarily make me cry I know they make a lot of people cry but uh, they don't make me cry the only thing that makes me cry is uh, breakups uh, yeah uh, more onions, more onions, just more onions, then you're fully recovered. Uh, yeah, so for me, it just, onions never really worked, but it's just, yeah, for, I guess it, if it, it may work for other people. Like 80% of the time, it will work for you, that onions will help you get over it, but, uh, but yeah. Is, like, is, like onions. <laughs> yeah. Do you like onions? Do, yes. do, so do you like onions on a burger? Yes. So, I well, that will broth. definitely not help you get over a breakup. So, <laughs> I'll, eat onions broth. I'll eat it like an apple for God's sakes. <laughs> so, d- d- but the one important thing about onions before we move on to the next slide is that uh, uh, onions have layers, mm-hmm. as the great Mike Myers has once said. <laughs> onions have shit? layers. <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> wow. I. <laughs> 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 uh but yeah moving on to this next slide we have a bunch of goats just looks i from a from a glance you may think that they're skating but they're actually not they're actually pr- pretending to skate and they're uh using their imagination about being on skateboards uh you may think that goats may not know how to skateboard but they de- they definitely do they're actually their their first originators in skateboarding like uh tony hawk actually originated as a goat that's why he has that that's why his face looks the way it does because he used to be a goat, uh, and he is the goat of skateboarding. So yeah, that's okay. where we go. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah. Saving throw. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> always, always uh, have hobbies to get over a breakup. This this man is diving deep into his hobbies of uh, just chucking a chicken across the uh, across the yard and just pretend that chicken is your ex and uh, just. Throw them out of your life. Hmm. Yeah, I got nothing else. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. oh, uh, chicken. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so you know how I said just throw the chicken out of your life? Well, you throw that out of your life to the nearest processing factory and just let it c- get consumed of, uh, uh, get it consumed in the masses. So uh, just pretend that that uh, chicken is your ex and ha- just have her be consumed by the masses and just Don't be used and abused it. and it'll just make you happy. So uh, that got really dark. Uh, move on. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions, you can call me at 555 <laughs> 
8906. Um, you can call me at 3 a.m. because that's where I'm crying. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I cry at three in the morning. And then uh, I, go to, when I, I, go, I go to sleep at 7 p.m. because that's when my mom says uh, my bedtime is. <laughs> so, but, uh, but we're also recording this at 7.30 and I'm up. But, uh, but yeah, uh, that's all, folks. See ya. Ho- hopefully you get over your breakup. Boy, that would have been helpful for my first three breakups. <laughs> <laughs> did my you eat a lot three. of bananas on your, on your uh, breakup? I did a lot of juggling. A juggling? Okay. <laughs> did you nah. juggle bananas? Did you juggle bananas? I could. I haven't, though. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I didn't I want to have to say it. I don't know. <laughs> But oh, God. <laughs> but it was me. It was me and Chris that broke up. So that I think that's really gonna help us both out here. So I thank you for doing that. Oh no um, problem. Yeah, it may be a little to break up two friends. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's my life's goal in life. So. Oh my God, he doesn't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank you for that, Marley. That was great. No problemo. And Chris, <laughs> I know how much you want to repay him. So I'm going to hand the reins to... What did I just do? Okay, I'm going to give you the reins. Not that you're Santa Claus. But <laughs> but whenever Whoa. you're ready. Whenever you're ready. All right, thank you for coming for my, to my second TED Talk. I don't know why I'm doing this again after the last time, but <laughs> we're back at it. This time... The inventions I made over quarantine. Kind of a true story. <laughs> oh, yes. I regret I take back the true story part. <laughs> Anyways, so I decided to make a new chip flavor because why not? Everybody's trying to find something new now. And so also my fingernails decided to go really long. And that's actually true. My fingernails do grow really long. I don't decide to cut them. I cut them like maybe twice a month, I think. <laughs> And so I get this, I collect all my fingernails onto this one box. It's like the size of a truck. <laughs> and I decided to make Lay's Flaming Hot Fingernails. <laughs> it's a really good crunchy snack, sometimes a bit salty, sometimes a bit sweet. If you know what I mean. <laughs> this is a. Uh, I don't know the, what the, you Something mean. about the Lay's fingernails <laughs> that would be ideal for someone that bites their fingernails yeah so oh, i, I honor you for uh creating that product <laughs> my, my, my next invention again food related i think there's a theme of this slide i, I don't know but food related again <laughs> have, have all have any of you had a nice glass of nesquik chocolate milk uh-huh. like nice they like nesquik chocolate milk that's like I'm lactose intolerant, so... Same, but... <laughs> Same, <don't worry. laughs> Nesquik almond milk. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, for the people, to the, lac- to the lactose intolerant people in the audience today, and um, if you're listening, um, we have Chesquik. Why yep. is this for them? <laughs> He's flavored milk powder. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> if you like cheese or you want to piss off somebody who's lactose intolerant, this is the drink for them. <laughs> mm. So, it, it's, so cheese milk <laughs> is just double milk. Sorry to interrupt, but basically, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's just milk. <laughs> Kill somebody like, like what's in this milk. cheese milk? Milk. Just a block what's of in milk. The cheese milk. Milk. <laughs> now, this next invention, one of my favorites. You could prefer the pineapple on pizza? Yep, originated in Canada, made by a Greek person. That's a true story. I should look that up, because that's real. Oh, you heard of pineapple on pizza. But what about pizza on pineapple? That's not great. You just cut <laughs> yourself a nice hunk of pineapple, because you just have pineapple laying around. If you just are addicted to them, if you are addicted to pineapples, go see somebody that's not healthy for you. It, they are healthy, just not all of them. <laughs> Now, just make some bagel this... bites in the oven or microwave with your, or flamethrower them if you your preferred choice of cooking. And then cut those in slices, serve them on your nice slab of pineapple, and munch away. You're just going to get a lot of fibrous, mushy texture, but it's good. Mmm. Okay. 
papers. Pineapples will definitely help during a breakup too. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, now I've already made billions, they tell you. Billions off of these products. Off of those three products that sold out in minutes. <laughs> I'm 17 years old. I, I'm a fucking billionaire. <laughs> But but why? How are these products different than your everyday products you see in the supermarkets? Well, let me explain. So, the, these products, like you may have thought of these when you were a child, and it's like, nah, that's never gonna work. I'm just five years old. That's nah, that'll probably be disgusting. But not really not to myself, but but to the other people as well. But no. I went back to my childhood self. I time traveled back to my five year old self and got some ideas from him. I said, just make a bag full of fingernails and make them spicy <laughs> and serve that to people. Sell it as like $5 a bag because tax. <laughs> America. Tax food. Capitalism. <laughs> no, I'm in Canada, so that's different. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Even better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in quarantine at the moment and hand sanitizer is running low I, I think I don't remember if we still have hand sanitizer anymore but to those of you who are running out of hand sanitizer because people decide to keep hoarding it and I understand some people may be germaphobes but if you have a bar of soap lying around I know just like it's in your shower just take the top of a hand sanitizer bottle thing or a soap thing I don't bottle that's what the word is and just stick it directly into the center of the moist the bar of soap i don't know why i said moist that's <laughs> yes, about to say <laughs> and that will just that's direct soap you know where that's coming from and you also know where that soap's been on your body so think about that for a second <laughs> soap, I don't think I want to. <laughs> soap is self-cleaning so you know what oh god <laughs> <laughs> My next invention, people like hot dogs. They're good. Processed remains, scraps, and meats just shoved into a tube and served. Yep, that's what a hot dog is. And for those of you bodybuilders out there who want to get protein fast, I introduced you give you hot dog water flavor. <laughs> Inspired by Adam F. Who that is, I don't remember. <laughs> but I took... Adam Finelli. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, random guy in the audience. Thank you, you can get a free sample after this. <laughs> I thought his last name was just F. <laughs> Only 25 calories, sugar-free as well. It's just pure hot dog water in there, mixed with a tiny bit of protein powder. So you can still get jacked and drink that hot dog goodness. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> Do you like your cereal in the morning, but you don't have any cereal because the supermarkets are out because people decided to stock up on cereal. I don't know why. They're just cereal junkies. But you do have a lot of cans of beans. But you like your beans. And you like your beans creamy. And so just eat that as cereal. <laughs> just pour yourself a can of beans. Cold straight from the can. Wherever you keep that can is where you keep that can. But cold straight from the can with some nice cold milk or in my case, an... In Marley's case, almond milk or oat milk or whatever kind of milk that's not made from cows. <laughs> not made from cows. <laughs> from cows. <laughs> I don't think it's, it's delicious. Like made Trust from me, just, cows on the gallon. Just, uh, just a mouthful of milk or milk substitute and just beans. <laughs> it's an yeah, interesting yeah. texture. It's, a, it's an acquired taste. You, ca- you gotta trust me on that. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. So, (laughs) some of these products that I'm currently working on in the making right now as we speak. So, like peeps at um, Easter time, well, here's a sacrifice version. Here's some blood-flavored peeps. Because, you know, when you get a cut, you always, like, suck on the wound. Just, like, if you get, like, a little poke in the finger, just put it in your mouth. And, like, blood has a specific taste to it. Yeah. Put that, imagine that, in a marshmallow fluff covering your entire mouth. And you're basically like a peep vampire at that point. (laughs) (laughs) Whose blood is it? Your own. (laughs) And then custom made. (laughs) Next is anybody wants to be a witch out there, but you can't know how to, you don't know how to fly your own broom. There you go. A rocket powered broom. 
modern day witches. We're bringing them back. Why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> I could finally be like Marley's mom. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. This hey, list now, is very uh, Halloween themed. <laughs> I'd just like to say. So now, like, you ever seen that picture of a Bluetooth hose? And it's like, ah, oh, no, that's fake. How do you get the water in it? No, I'm making it real <laughs> through the power of Bluetooth. This instantly connecting water through electronics out the other end. Don't ask me the science behind it. <laughs> Trust me, it works. <laughs> and also... <laughs> Quick question. Yes. Uh, the Bluetooth hose, will that yes. uh, solve the water crisis in Africa? So if I connect my Bluetooth hose to my faucet... And mm-hmm. I could send it to my African friend. Yeah, so sure. As long water. as they have it, they have to have it, though. That's important. There needs to be a stable connection on the other side. Okay. All right. That's that's all we need. <laughs> <laughs> Next, my last product I'm Why currently working on <laughs> is a triple bunk bed. Now, now, don't worry about the middle bunk. If that ever falls out, you just might have a pancake at that point. But that's totally our part, our, all part of the process of building stuff and trying to see if it works and keeping people alive, most importantly, because if, if there's any casualties, I'll be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't good. But trust me, reinforced steel beams on that bunk bed. Thank you for coming to my second TED Talk. I'm never doing this again. I will <laughs> re- swallow my words eventually. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Woo! That was a Thank good you. one. Thank <laughs> you very much. You, I don't know what you do in podcasting. You're making so much money off of those products. This must you be know, like, just a side hustle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The podcast or the, the product? Billions <laughs> 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 of everything. Um, okay, that was definitely uh, interesting. Um. Now we're going to get into the new game, the first new game of season two. Um, And that game is called Breaking News. And for everybody who doesn't know, it's kind of difficult to explain, but I'll try it. Um, (laughs) Basically, I'm giving them a situation or a scenario that a news team crew would uh, report on, on like on the site. And they have to be the person in that scenario you'll understand you'll get it it's really simple um just pay pay attention and you'll get it um unless unless uh unless they do a bad job don't do a bad job i'll break your legs all right who's ready oh my legs (laughs) oh my legs (laughs) um marley i'm gonna have you go first okay no not my legs (laughs) break a leg it's not like i can use them during quarantine but never mind. No, no, I, I need to use them. I stand like six hours a day. Oh my God. <laughs> Just for my job. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. Breaking news. Archaeologist Marley Silverbrand discovered a new dinosaur bone yesterday afternoon. And he explains why he ate it instead of giving it to scientists for study. We take you live to Marley. Thank you, thank you, Bill. Uh, <laughs> or thank, th- or should, should I say thank you, Sammy? You can edit this out, but <laughs> I don't know. You want, <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Ron Newscaster. <laughs> th- th- yeah, I love thank you, too, Random <laughs> Thank you, Random Newscaster. Uh, yeah, I did find this bone randomly in my uh, B- Buffalo Wild Wings bowl, uh, but I accidentally thought it was. I actually thought it, it was like an, a, a chicken wing, a random chicken wing. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, so when I discovered, th- when I ate this bone and I shat it out the next day, uh, I was like, this doesn't look like something I ate. And even though it was, uh, and then I was like, I'm going to give this, this, I'm going to give this to scientists. So uh, the scientists were really, uh, 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 they were really sad that I gave them a dinosaur bone that was covered in my uh, fecal matter but uh, they were really excited to see that it was a dinosaur bone so how did uh, Buffalo Wild Wings get um, their hands on a dinosaur bone I have no idea but uh, this is uh, this was 
a really cool discovery. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> thank you. And uh, thank, yeah, so no questions. <laughs> thank you for science. So <laughs> back to you, Bill. Back oh. to you, random newscaster. <laughs> <laughs> In other breaking news, Chris Dimitriadis, a former elementary school bully, bullied five of his closest friends with a wrestling move he likes to call the poop twister. <gasps> yeah, that, that's true. Th th thank you, random newscaster. I appreciate it. Um, a lot of weird stories you're covering today. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that is true. <laughs> now I, I decided to create this move because I, I love the game Twister. But I think that's what it's called. I don't remember. <laughs> is it that that one game they just put your hand on random colors, whatever? <laughs> I don't know. Yes. I've never played it, but that's a really interesting concept. So this move is just that game, but with a whole lot of shit. <laughs> so I, I I tranquilized all my friends, my five closest friends. Just went into the houses I had spent hours doing this. <laughs> I wanted to play my butt and then forced him to play a game of Poop Twister. Yeah, this I know it's a wrestling move. I'll show you where that aspect comes in later. Mm. Uh, there's, it's just in a giant wrestling ring, and I eventually jump off it into the pile of shit and then spiders everywhere. Very creative. <laughs> now, wh why I did this exactly? Because social experiments. I want to see how they'll handle the situation if they'll actually go along with it. Surprisingly, they did. It got really messy. <laughs> I did not expect to go through with that one. Just happened. <laughs> it just happens. Back to you. All right. It back happens. to you, Let's Bill. just say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As my grandma Marley puts it, shit happens. Wow. In other news, <laughs> um, President Donald Trump and his main competitor, Joe Biden, had a surprise debate last night that lasted five hours. This was the main highlight of the night. And I must warn you, it gets intimate. This includes both of you. Marley, you're Trump. Chris, you're Joe Biden. Go. Who starts? <laughs> this is I, very accurate. Chris, you start. We're, we're both old. So, uh... Oh. <laughs> You gotta listen here, you oompa loompa looking thing. Fake news, everyone. Fake news. <laughs> fake news. Don't listen to Joe. Up, Vote man. for me. Vote for me. <laughs> shut up, man. I'm just an old man with some trying to have some decency over here. You're just running. Oh, you're definitely time. old man. Everyone, I am so young. I'm so attractive. I oh, got damn it, not like you look any better. You look like an Oompa Loompa that tried to escape from Willy Wonka and talk about just put on a damn skunk. Once again, <laughs> fake news. Fake news. All of you are fake. <laughs> you know you pulled out of Paris, you should have pulled out of Storm Daniels. <laughs> oh, God. You're such a nasty man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to squirt my hand sanitizer gun at you because no Lord knows you're not keeping safe. <laughs> Lord knows you're not keeping your distance. Oh, believe me, I got COVID and I recovered and now I'm immune. So, no Now, what about all the other patients? Explain that, bitch. <laughs> it's just something we're going to have to live with. It's just gonna something we're going to have to live with. I'm Fake Donald news. Trump. No COVID. <laughs> I'm Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> you approved hmm. the debate. <laughs> It's like, I'm Joe Biden, I approve this debate. It's like, what the shit are you doing? <laughs> All right, back to you, Bill. Thank you, random news reporter. <clears throat> it certainly did get weird. In other news, God goodness, there's a lot of news tonight. You'd yeah. think every once in a while there'd be like no news. Anyways, back to the breaking news. Boy, breaking what I was. news! I was gonna, sorry. Scientist Wee Wee Long, this is Marley by the way, explains why he legally changed his name to Wee Wee Short after his tragic divorce. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, random newscaster, this was not on the teleprompter. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh... So, so why'd you do it? Tomorrow, a reporter just like. Uh, well, I changed it to Wee Wee Long because I used to love to play the Wii, and I like to play it for long times. Uh, <laughs> and during my tragic divorce, my wife did not like me playing the Wii, 
a long time. So I changed it to to uh, we we long time. Uh, <laughs> and if you if you say it really fast, it sounds like I'm Asian or something like that. <laughs> But I hate to be racist not. on this podcast, but <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> this may be controversial, but I just love I just love Nintendo, and uh, I love I love the Wii, Wii Wii. Everyone, you love uh, the Wii. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Back to you. Thank you. In other news. <clears throat> One angry ex-employee of Dunkin' Donuts exploits what Dunkin' actually is and how it harms the consumers. Chris, this is you. Not, not you. Got, you got to understand that the Dunkin' Donuts is is not what you think it is. These aren't <laughs> actually donuts. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. These are human remains. We're forced to keep this a secret. I don't care if I'm gonna get killed after this. These are human remains. It's just like you know those random customers that just. End up sleeping in our store after hours. You, know, you, you never see them again after that. That's the last time you see them. <laughs> no, angry <laughs> ex employee. <laughs> these are human remains. Are these homeless rem- human remains or are they just random, just civilians? I'm trying to be calm in this situation. I totally forgot I was angry at this point. But <laughs> the, the manager, he, he, he forced us, he might fucking brainwash us, and I managed to escape that to just. Murder these citizens <laughs> that just slept in our store and put them in the donuts that aren't actually donuts, they just call them that. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> I just disappear into a darkness. <laughs> just just, just fade to <laughs> You put your hoodie on and you just fade to black. Just... <sighs> you. The, the camera that's on you is actually it, it's doing a, a, a pole zoom, it's like it's. <laughs> It's going away, and it's like, wow, did they plan this out? <laughs> In other news, more breaking news. Marley, this is you. A local neighborhood man was promoting his new charity for those who've been shot by arrows when he was suddenly shot by an arrow. We take you to the scene. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. I, sorry for the long pause there. I was just shot in the. Uh, I was just shot. I got <laughs> shot in the arrow with a knee. Or went, wait, what? <laughs> sorry, I'm just having a stroke right now. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, the, getting sh- hit with an arrow, especially in the knee, is That's definitely uh, very painful, and uh, definitely needs to be. Uh, we definitely need to be policing our streets and definitely be looking out for arrows, <laughs> not just bullets, just arrows. Uh, not, yeah. Not, uh, I was just like walking. Like, like I was you, just you walking. Just been, sorry to interrupt you, sir, but you, you, you've just been <laughs> shot with an arrow. How are you so calm about this? Like, can I see your secret? Well, I, 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 get shot, <laughs> I get shot every single day, so I'm pretty... I'm, pre- I'm pretty <clears throat> numb to the pain. Like what, the first time I got shot, obviously I was like screaming in agony, but this is probably about the 50th time that I have uh, been shot with an arrow. Uh, so my body just is numb to it. it. Like I feel no pain no more, but uh, I feel for the people that do feel pain and that live in this neighborhood. <laughs> so uh, reach out to my Twitter handle, uh, shot, shot in the knee. Uh, <laughs> and uh, follow my hashtag for the campaign that I'm promoting. Hashtag, uh, hashtag uh, arrows have feelings too. Uh, mm. Back to you in the mm-hmm. studio. Thank you. Wow, that looked very painful. In other news, we have even more breaking news. Chris, John Cena's hot twin brother, Chris, <laughs> explains how he made billions pretending to be John Cena on TikTok. Now, yes, I am the hot one out of the two. He might be the buff wrestler, famous superstar, movie actor, whatever the hell he does now. I don't pay attention much, I'll be honest. But I- I'm clearly the hot one. I um, you know, pretending to be John on TikTok that was the hard part because I had to look like him, like exactly like him. We're we're fraternal twins, not identical ones. Oh. As you can <laughs> clearly, obviously, tell. Just shave all my facial hair off and make myself look like I'm five years younger than I usually do. <laughs> shave off my hair and then I managed to Photoshop on some fake abs. That would 
really great. Perfect photoshopping skills. They ignored the entire, like, no, no, no clipping, but still perfect. I just had to find some green sweatbands lying around my house. I don't know if they were sweatbands or just some green fabric I found. And then pretending to a whole bunch of wrestling shit and weird TikTok dances that the kids are doing these days. And billions. You want to make billions? Impersonate somebody who's famous. <laughs> don't actually do that. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> Just take their ideas. Yeah. And uh, make money off of it. So, but yeah. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Back to you, Sammy. Great podcast, by the way. Well, thank you. I know. I work really hard on it. Um, okay. So, I, I, I think that was very <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I have way too much fun with this. Um. Definitely some interesting stories that you guys had to tell. I'm glad I got to sit back and watch it all unfold. I was going to toss one more in there, but uh, I, I don't think the time is going to allow us. But I do want to get some quick feedback from you guys. Um, what do you think of wh- which game was uh, do, you, do you favor? Which one was, was your favorite today? Uh, Marley? Um, what I, I really like breaking news i think you can definitely expand on that and uh i think just giving people random news stories and have them like report it is uh can be really funny in certain scenarios but obviously you know that my favorite one is slide red slide red is uh, (laughs) my favorite of them all so but yeah (laughs) as it should be yeah Yeah. (laughs) i have to agree with marley on this i mean breaking news you can come up with some really wacky shit to just give to your guests and it's like breaking news local man robs a store for one single egg we ask him why he did it now and it's like you just have like some really random shit and it'll probably become something great in the future i know it will but then you also have the iconic slide right for the slide right and just that is iconic to this podcast thank you i appreciate that yeah we do slide right every single time all the podcasts have had slide right on it so yeah um but we won't good. talk about how a certain game company just ripped it off <laughs> <laughs> right, right right we won't we talk won't about talk that. about that no if they want to sponsor, sponsor us right <laughs> yeah if they, if they want to sponsor us then we can if talk you're listening into this episode by any chance please reach out <laughs> yes <laughs> and, and if you do want to if you if you want to sponsor this podcast uh you can uh you can you can tell me. <laughs> um, honestly, you guys are some of my favorite guests. I know both of you have only been on here once, but you can honestly just tell. Um, so yeah, I had a lot I'm of fun. I'm definitely my favorite guest too. <laughs> I'm definitely my favorite guest too. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I will, I will just say that all the episodes that I've been on have been the best. So they have been. Same. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> both of them. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I mean my, my a... first time on here, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Simon, but like, I, my first time on here, I, I laughed so hard <laughs> over one thing I said, just tired time laughed off. <laughs> yeah, it's always a good time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys both later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>